My name is Matthew Hatch from the Logan campus for USU 1360 and this is the Earthquake Lab. Um, I built my building out of a uh, cardboard box, uh, note cards, post-it notes, masking tape, glue. Um, I also used half of a two liter bottle and that's to represent um, an structure inside of an outer structure to minimize the effects of earthquake on the actual people inside the building though the people um, though the building may still move the people inside the building will be less affected because the outer structure will take uh, most of the damage while the inner structure and all of the contents inside will more or less remain um, in their position because it's floating inside that um, outer structure that's found that's got its foundation into the earth. Um, we're going to set up for the experiment. Okay. We'll do the high impact experiment and we'll measure the distance that it moved. The red line indicates where it originally was, and the blue line indicates the shift. You can tell from left to right it didn't move very much, but from front to back it did move a little bit. And on building scales that might be a big deal, but as I said, that's why the original structure is designed. It's going to be impossible to eliminate uh, the movement of the movement of the buildings during an earthquake, but we can minimize the damage that's done to the people and the property inside. That's why the building itself um, and all of the people are in the inner structure that's floating inside the outer structure, though that outer structure may move, um, the inner structure is going to stay more stable. Uh, the most interesting thing that I learned about this is how much thought has to go into planning for something that may or may not happen. Um, and the fact that the only way to learn from it is by doing those experiments. The only way to know if the building is going to move is by throwing the book at it. Which, in real terms, is not a possible experiment, but you have to plan ahead for things that may or may not come up, but that if they did come up would be a big issue. Um, the most important thing as a real world application that I learned is that you need a broad base and base supports um, I added those because the original structure would wobble. Um, and also, just as a hypothetical thing, if we could build it inside of a floating structure, that may prevent things like that happened in Japan in that movie where um, computers and, and bookcases and things were falling on top of people and, and creating a lot of damage. So those are my experiments, let me know if you have any questions.